welcome back to my channel. I'm the Lady Panda, a comfy and variety game streamer, and today we're on episode two of Once Human. Today I'll show you actual gameplay as well as go over the UI and some other stuff about the game. I hope you like it. Let's get right into it. All right, let's get into it. This is my humble abode. It is currently distressed. I do need to repair it and add more materials to the daily maintenance so that it can keep up with it. But as you can see, I have a water collector and a water tank up top. Um, I'll go inside and show you around. This game has a lot of, um, I guess you would call them processors or facility machines, uh, machines workbenches so we've got a primary armor workbench we've got basic weapons workbench we've got primary supplies workbench and over here we've got a primary synthesis bench a stove back there is a disassembler for your scrap and a furnace for all your um ores uh this is my main house upstairs. I have a water purifier, um, a generator. This is where I keep my deviant, the thing in my backpack. Uh, it helps you, it gives you special perks and things like that. You collect them um, by beating bosses in the world. I believe I have three now. Yeah, I've got the time ticker, the bio gel, and the moth, which is in here. And you have to keep it happy and it will give you deviant power in return, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. Um, then, oh my gosh. So the survival aspect, you have to have food, you have to have water, you have to hunt for meat. You can dry your meat, you can cook it, you can... Um, you can grow things. There's farming, fishing, hunting, cooking, uh, as well as just general shooter looter type stuff like disassembling, crafting. Um, I think that the weapon craft system and the armor craft system in this game is very reminiscent of like Call of Duty because not only can you go ahead and craft tier one, tier two, all the way up to tier five, um, you can also calibrate these weapons um, to upgrade them. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that one. And then you can repair them. Um, but when you go into gear, you can modify this. You can add a tactical sight, for example. Um, you can add special ammo, very reminiscent of Call of Duty. And then there's also um, mods that you can find around the world and apply them to your weapon. I have applied to my Hunter 500S um, some mods and if I hit a crit damage, I don't consume the bullet. Um, it also auto reloads my gun, which is insane and awesome. So I love my pistol. It's only five in the mag and it's single shot, but it does a lot of damage and I don't have to uh, reload very often. So that is my home. Um, another really cool thing about this game is that you can have hives. To begin with, a hive is a co-op team. Uh, you can have up to four people in your hive. There is a way to upgrade it to up to 24 members. I'm not sure how to do that just yet, but my, me and my hive, there's four of us, we've started making our headquarters. So this is our headquarters. I've been in charge of building. Um, I decided I wanted to have a wraparound porch. This is just, it needs upkeep obviously and it needs to be repaired, but this is what we have so far. So let me show you the map. The map to this game is pretty big. As you saw, this is where I live and this is my hive territory. We decided to live in the swamp. Um, it's a, it's, the map is huge. So this is just across the street. I don't know if that gives you a frame of reference for distance, but um, this is the starting area down here. Sorry. Um, you spawn right here. Uh, and well, I teleported into this area. And then this is the main town when you first spawn in. Um, every town has missions that you can do and special chests you can collect. Uh, and then you can unlock them. So that is, this is where I am. You have to zoom way in. This is the lower level, like starting areas. Um, 
right down here level five wetlands and as you go further out obviously it gets more difficult um this is all the map that we have not unlocked yet it is massive 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 i'm not gonna make i'm not gonna give you any spoilers about the storyline or any information about the missions i will let you unlock that on your own I will go ahead and give you a sneak peek at what it's like um, to do to to see like the environment a bit. I will tell you some of the dungeons or the raids are so cool. Um, the public events um, are really awesome. The bosses, the bosses are impressive. I believe there's one over here, and maybe I can pick a fight with him. Oh, I don't have any bullets on me. Excuse me? Where did I put my shotgun bullets? Let me go back real quick and get my shotgun bullets. I'm going to fast forward to where I'm at the boss. There's a gator! Oh, I had to reload. What? Goodbye! Go to sleep! This is one of the many animals in the game. The corrupted crocodile. He dangerous. Okay, so I the boss isn't spawned yet. He's supposed to spawn in that field over there. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the creatures. I mentioned that there's some that look like zombies. And then there's these kind of ones. There's ones that look like they have a briefcase for a head. There's ones that look like zombies. There's ones um, that look like different bugs. Some of them drop like the light, the, the, this guy drops his light and you can actually use it as a, as a weapon. Uh, you have to be up close, but then there's, see these like Cthulhu type looking things. They will grapple with you if you let them get close enough. That one didn't have a head. Sometimes they have a head, sometimes they don't. But the monsters are quite varying, as you can see. Um, break your light bulb. I missed that shot. Do not judge me on that shot. Also, if you're wondering why I don't have a camera, it's because... Um, I can't I can't record this game and have my camera up at the same time. It just doesn't work so here's another monster i'm gonna use my shoddy on him there's some bugs up there shoot that guy what's up big boy wanna play hello oh, oh! hi <laughs> don't take your eye off the big boy obviously Oh, yeah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I have nails, like long nails, and they do that to me sometimes. I have reload. I do have... Oh, I don't have them equipped. Um, I have grenades and molotovs, but I don't have them equipped. That's right, take that burn damage. Let it burn. Woo! I just got out of his way. Hey, you, come here. You look mighty pretty. Let me see that mouth. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked. Give me that sweet, sweet loot, Sir Arbiter. Ooh, energy links. That's awesome. Uh, energy links are a type of currency in the game. You can use it for a lot of different things. Um, so that is a an elite a, an elite monster. I'm gonna look to see if the first boss has spawned yet so I can give you a taste of Um, okay, that's weird for some reason the monster is not appearing the boss This is the very first boss area here um, There's also these monoliths um, around the map and they are dungeons to defeat bosses. It's part of the main storyline I did want to point out the environment is super rich. I will show you the nearby town, but there's places like a chemical plant and an orchard and towns and schools. Like down here, we have Sunbury Middle School and it's so detailed. 
and well made. It's incredible. Um, if you're wondering how you get around the map, you can uh, craft, unlock and craft a motorcycle, a Jeep, and a car in this game. Um, and the motorcycle is obviously a one seater, the, um, Jeep and the truck are four seaters. So this is your typical town. They are all completely different. Um, maybe one might have a hotel or a, um, a hotel or a grocery store. Um, this one happens to have a bus terminal here there's also one that has like a like a, another bus terminal i think there's one with an airport like i said some of them are farms oh no 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 <laughs> these explode Ooh, back up yeah get wrecked a little spooter lane oh shit there's more of you i missed like 40 times you didn't see that okay don't judge me monkey don't do it Oh, I hear something slimy. It's dead. Okay, what is that slimy sound? Hello? Slimy? Where are you? Okay, weird. I rely on sound a lot in my games. Um, the cool thing about this game is special crates make a sound, which is nice. Um, that's not always the case in MMOs. That's mostly like a battle royale type thing. But in this game, they've implemented that. There's a lot of quality of life things that are in this game that I really, really appreciate. Um, oh, there you are. Sheesh. And now I must heal. Um, honestly, I can't say enough about this game. It's incredible. It's currently in beta. Um, I am not sure how much longer it is going to be in beta. Um, they did mention that they're limiting the amount of people that they let in per, per week into the beta. So it's not a situation where they're like, oh no, you can't play the game. It's a situation of, okay, let's do this in phases so that we can monitor the server and make sure that everybody has access. So that is a fantastic thing. I, will, I have already included in my previous video links um for this game uh make sure you wish list it on steam uh that is the best way to show your support for the game developers and the game itself but also 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 up oh, so you can shoot me but i can't shoot you oh, okay there we go i was gonna say um Please wishlist this game on Steam if you have the bandwidth. Um, download it, get in the beta, do some surveys, drop some info, tell them what you like, what you don't like, what you really, really like. And yeah, come play with me. Make sure you um, hit that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I up upload another video. Um, if you guys really like my One Team and con content, I can definitely add more content in the near future. Other than that, this is me signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you are valid, you're loved, you're incredible, you got a fat ass, and you deserve all the pizza in the world. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!